Mic settings in OBS Studio. As a beginner, they can look kind of complicated, especially since there are so many options for each of them. I mean, what are all these sliders doing? Let's get into the video. This video is brought to you by Onto TV. Are you looking for new emotes? Then the new emote maker from Onto TV is just right for you. After choosing your starting character, you can customize it further to create a character that looks very similar to you. When you're done customizing, simply click on generate emote and then you will be able to select the emotes you want to buy. The more you select, the cheaper it gets per emote. If you're interested, then go to Onto TV or click the link on top of my description to start creating your own emote today. So the first thing you need to do is making sure that you've added your mic in OBS Studio. Now if you didn't add your mic yet, just go to the settings, then to the audio tab and right here you see mic auxiliary audio. Just select your microphone right here as well as your default audio device on top. And just so you know, the default device here means the default Windows device that you can see right here. Now let's close the settings and the first thing you want to do is make sure that your volume of your mic is at 100%. The way you check this is by by right clicking your audio icon and then going to sounds. Then you go to the recording tab and here you will find your microphone. For me it's the blue snowball. Now you double click it, you go to levels and then you want to make sure that this is at 100%. Click on OK, click on OK. And now when I'm talking, you see that my volume is going almost into the yellow. Now if yours is too quiet or too loud, don't worry, we're gonna fix this later. First you wanna click on the settings icon and then go to advanced audio properties. Now here next to your microphone, you wanna change this audio monitoring to monitor and output. And as you hear, I can hear my microphone in my speakers right now. I'm gonna disable my speaker, but this is an easy way to hear what you're changing. This will make it much easier to adjust your sound settings. So you click on close. So now look for your mic here in the audio mixer, then click on the settings icon and then go to filters. Now the first filter I want you to add is a gain filter because I want to make sure that we are all on the same page. I'm going to move this aside and just to make this video a bit more clear, I am going to disable the audio monitoring, but you should enable it so you'll hear your mic. But right now my mic is the only one that's moving. So what I want to do with the gain filter now is make sure that when you're just talking like I am right now, that your voice is always towards the end of the yellow and maybe sometimes peaks in the red like it did right now. So if yours is in the green you just add a bit of gain or if it always peaks like it does right now then you remove some gain to make sure that it's always right here. I'm gonna set it to zero because mine is fine. And then the next filter we're gonna add is a VST plugin. Now you will need to install it but once you did you will see Marvel GQ right here and I'm gonna show you how because this plugin will make your voice sound more warm and more full like a real studio mic and then and after that, we're gonna add some other filters to make sure that your voice is always leveled, etc. Like I said in the intro, these are all really important settings, but first we wanna make our voice sound more warm. So this is where you can download it. I will link it in the description. And here you see download for Windows or for Mac. I'm gonna download Windows and then you install the plugin. You don't need to change any settings. You can just go through this installation process. So once this is installed and you've added the VST plugin here, you will find it in this drawer down you can just select it and then to change the settings you can click on open plugin interface now you want to click on presets here and you will see a bunch of presets now the one with the arrow in front of it is the one that will be activated so you just double click bright and basic this is the one i want to use and then you can close this window and so this right here represents your voice now the left is all the low ends of your voice so the bassy sounds and then the right are the high sounds so if this makes your voice sound way too deep and it makes it sound weird, you can just lower this a bit, which will reduce the bass in your voice. If you want more bass, you can just make them a bit higher like this. This completely depends on your mic and your voice. And then the same thing counts for the highs. If it sounds too crisp, you can just reduce this a bit like this. And then when you're done, you can just close this because it will always stay active. By the way, if you skipped it before, if you want to hear yourself, you can just go to the advanced audio properties and then next to your microphone, you can change this drop down to monitor and output and then you will hear your own voice. Now let's go back to the filters because now is where the important and kind of complicated stuff starts. Now the good news is that you can just follow my process and then you will have set up everything. Now you want to click on the plus icon and then the next things we're gonna add are a compressor and an expander and these two are really really important. So before I add them you should look at my volume right here. When I'm talking normally it goes into the yellow right but then when I shout hey 
it completely peeks into the red and this will blow out your viewers ears and if i talk really quiet like this and you will see that it goes into the green but not into the yellow now what this compressor effect will do is that when you're shouting it will pull down your volume and then when you're talking quietly it will push your volume so that way you're always the same volume for the stream and that's really important so i'm gonna add the filter click on ok now the next part depends on your mic and your voice but i'm gonna show you the process you need to go through first of all before we start make sure that your mic goes into the yellow right here like me when i'm talking if it doesn't go to the middle of the yellow when you're talking normally like i am go to the gain here and then adjust the slider again till it does if you made this 4 2 and 100 then the next step is talking really quiet into your microphone and then boosting the output gain till your quiet sounds are going to the start of the yellow so i'm gonna do it right now i am talking really quiet right now it doesn't touch the yellow so i'm gonna add a bit of gain till it does i'm gonna add some more gain and right here I think this is the sweet spot. Okay, so now my quiet sounds are getting boosted, which is great. But now the next step is making sure that when I shout, the volume gets pulled down. So now you want to move this threshold slider completely to the right to zero. And then you want to shout into your microphone the loudest you would ever shout on stream. And then you want to slowly pull down the threshold till your really loud sounds aren't peaking the microphone. So I'm going to do it right now. You can look at the audio levels. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so it looks like this is perfect. So let's look at the result. When I talk quiet, it goes to the middle of the yellow. When I talk normally, it goes to the end of the yellow. And then when I shout, hey, you see that it peaks right here, which is perfect. Now this alone will make you come across more professional on stream because people will always be able to understand you. And then when you shout, it won't blow out their ears, which is something that can happen on beginner streams. Now the next filter is extremely important and it's the expander. And the reason that it's so important is that the compressor here will boost our low sounds. But this also means that when we are not talking, but our keyboard is making sound, that will get recognized as a low sound and it will get boosted. And I can show you in the levels here. I'm gonna disable the compressor, I'm gonna type my keyboard, then I'm gonna enable it and you will see it moving. Did you see it peek into the yellow even because of my keyboard? Well, that's something we don't want to happen. So we're gonna add an expander, which will pull down our volume when we are not talking into the mic. Now you might know something called a noise gate. Well, this is kind of a fancy noise gate. So let's set it up. So for the expander, again, the ratio, we will set it to four, the attack to two milliseconds, and then the release to hundred, just like with the compressor. And for the expander, we only wanna change the threshold. We don't wanna touch the gain. So when you're not talking, but you're tapping your keyboard or clicking your mouse, you don't want that to activate the mic. So the way you set it up is you move this to the left like we did till that sound is being suppressed. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to type my keyboard and then move this threshold to the right till I see here that the levels of my keyboard are really low. So let's do it. Okay, so as you see, my keyboard barely triggers it unless I slam it like this. That's obviously gonna trigger it. If you suppress that, then your voice will also not trigger the mic. So right now my voice is triggering the mic, but when I don't say anything and I type, that doesn't activate the mic and then as soon as I talk my voice gets picked up. Now you want to be really careful some people were hating me in the comments of my previous video about this type of stuff. If you move the threshold to the right too much then your voice will also not be loud enough to trigger the mic and then you will not hear anything. So as you see it's at minus 17 if I move it to this then when I talk like this you see that my voice is also being suppressed. So make sure that you adjust the slider correctly right. Now before we add the next filter here it's important to know that these filters work in a specific order from top to bottom so if yours are in another order you can just click on one of them and then use this up or down arrow to move it up or down the order so we did this intentionally first your gain gets fixed so your mic is the right volume then we make the voice warmer which will kind of change the structure of the audio wave then we boost the quiet sounds and we pull down the loud sounds and then after doing all that we make sure that your environment sounds are not triggering your microphone now the next thing you want to add is a noise suppression filter. Now, if you have an NVIDIA RTX card, then you want to make sure that you install the plugin for it because this noise suppression is 
crazy good. It removes every unwanted sounds when you're clapping while you're talking. Your clap isn't being recorded when someone is shouting behind you, but you are also talking. That person will get completely filtered out. This is insane. They are using artificial intelligence to do this, but it's only possible with an RTX card. If you have one, then you can check out this video about the new OBS features because there I explain how to install this. Now, if you don't have an NVIDIA RTX card, then you will need to use one of these two. This one has lower CPU usage, but lower quality. And this one has good quality, but more CPU usage. If your CPU is struggling, when you press Control Shift Escape on your keyboard, then you can see your system performance in this tab. Now, if while you're streaming, your CPU usage is sitting at 95 to 100%, then when you add this noise suppression, it will probably peak and your PC might be lagging. So then you will need to use this. If CPU usage isn't a problem, you can just use RN noise. And this noise suppression can also remove some signal sounds from your mic. If there's some kind of constant tone, some kind of hiss into the signal of your mic, then noise suppression might also remove that as well as environment sounds like an AC unit in the back or your PC that's making noise. Adding noise suppression is a good idea. Now for this effect, you don't need to change anything, but if you're using this, you can choose the level. And for the Nvidia one, you can also choose the suppression intensity. Now, the more you suppress your background noise, the more your voice will also start to suffer. So be careful with adding noise suppression and just test around a bit. Now there's one other really important filter and we can use it for our mic, but also for our other sound sources, like our desktop sound, our game, in case you're separating things, doesn't matter. All your audio sources should have a limiter on them. So what this limiter does is extremely simple. It just adds a hard limit to your volume. Now we already added the compressor, which will pull down high sounds, but maybe your mic malfunctions and make some really loud signal sound to your PC or something happens in your surroundings and the book falls on your desk and makes an insanely loud sound. To add a fail safe for that, we just add a limiter and we set it to minus one decibels, which means that your sound will never go past the end of the red. As you see, the end of the red is zero decibels, minus one is just just in front of it. This is just a simple fail safe. And when we click on close, we can also add it to our desktop sound because the same thing counts for YouTube videos that have jump scares or people that send you a troll link that's extremely loud. You just add a limiter to all your sound sources and then your viewers will never suffer from an extremely loud sound. Just click on close. Now, if this video helped you, I would really appreciate it if you would click the like button because it helps a lot in the algorithm more than you know. And if you want more content for streamers, you can subscribe to the channel. I just ordered seven budget microphones from Amazon because I know a lot of people are interested in them and they wanna know if they actually sound good. So that's gonna be one of my next videos. I'm gonna be testing out the microphones, comparing them to some more expensive mics like the Blue Snowball or the Elgato Wave or a professional XLR setup really exciting video if you're interested in stuff like that just subscribe to the channel and you will see my next content besides that thank you so much for watching again don't forget to like the video and i will see you in the next one have a nice day